Hello everyone, we're in Marimbula, which is on the New South Wales far south coast and it is an absolutely awesome spot and if I swing you around you will see why. We have rather decadent we have our own bathroom that opens up from the back of the camper um, and unfortunately we're on a concrete slab so it's a bit hard to peg down the Dutch A annex however the front pegs down quite well and you can see it stretched out and it is just so good to have it's just like having enough room one thing that's working out really well is the battery system in this thing. And this is just being self-sufficient. Um, we're running the lights and the fridge off it. Um, it's quarter to three in the afternoon and we've come up from 85% of battery capacity to about 94 I'm more than happy with. So we've been using this as the base and going out from here every day. We're here for three nights and then we're moving up the coast to Naruma for a couple of nights. But anyway, let's have a look at what we've been up to. It's been quite interesting. We've made our way down to Uden today, which is a major fishing hub on the far south coast. Um, used to be a lot of whaling in the area, but that's now stopped, thank goodness. And um, really interesting place to hang about. We do have a bit of a haul from the markets. What have we got? So we've got some disaster to bay chilies. Chili marmalade. Curry sauce. Oh, look at these. Marinated garlic. And best of all, we got some spicy Middle Eastern beef sausages, which were absolutely gorgeous. And Kifla potatoes and fresh garlic and that smells superb. So all in all a good day at Pambula Markets. We've just pulled up at Candelo which is a small country town about 16 k's off the the main highway going down south and um, we've come across a free camping area which is absolutely gorgeous. So there's not a lot of facilities here, but if you just wanted an overnight stay or something, lovely. And this place has an absolutely lovely little main street that has a really nice cafe that I can recommend heartedly after having lunch there. And um, yeah. Just a lovely little country town that you probably wouldn't come to normally. That's a hardy nature. Oh, Christ, this is. <laughs> just hit my head. 
Let's see. Mulberry, we have the rose syrup. These are the types of signs we have in Australia. Watch out for wombats and kangaroos. Pretty cool. So we've come up to the break wall and we've found these little fellas. We're now back at home and we cut our holiday short by a day uh, because there was a really bad storm front uh, further up the coast that's been working its way down and it's to the point where there was a lot of flooding uh, up in Queensland and north coast New South Wales. So when it hit the area we we're in it was like I think it's time we left and went home uh, and from then the first good hour and a half of the trip we were aquaplaning everywhere. I just really dislike driving in those conditions with any sort of trailer on. Um, yeah, it, it was horrendous. But anyway, got through it, got home okay. Everything's gone quite well. I do have one small leak in the camper. One thing that we have had because of the amount of rain is I have some water ingress and I think it's coming from here. So, um, that needs to be looked at over the next couple of weeks on that door. But apart from that, everything else has stood up very nicely. No leaks whatsoever in the camper and um, more than happy with it. I still want to get the drawbar done. Um, I think that'll make it sit behind the, the Jeep much, much nicer. Um, but uh, all in all, a really good holiday. So that was a fairly rough overview of the five days that were away. I hope you enjoyed that. We had a great time. There's so much area down there to explore that we'll definitely be down there again. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next episode. Bye now.